Hey, I'm Justin. Yo, I'm Jordan. We're here in Durham, North Carolina at Atomic Empire. We have rented out this lovely back room and we're about to play some Bounty Commander. In Bounty Commander, each player provides a pack and that pack becomes the bounty on their head, essentially. Whenever you knock out a player, you get their pack. But if you're knocked out yourself, you still get to keep the bounty you claimed. Make sure you don't leave too early. Stick around after the game finishes, and we're going to open those packs and see what kind of value we've got. This week, we've got some uh, Kamigawa packs, and it's during the pre-release, so I'm really excited. Today, I am playing Sir Conrad Mill. I'm playing Belby Corrupted Observer. Andrea is playing Darien, King of Keldor. And Paul is playing Estrid Enchantments. All right, let's get started. All right, land for turn and pass turn. All right, draw. Snow-covered swamp, basilisk collar, pass turn. Draw. I'll play a slitherboard pathway, and I will pass. Drawing for turn. Um. This is going to be bad. Going With him. to. We won't be able to keep anything on board. <laughs> we won't be able to keep anything. He deals the damage to you. He deals the damage to creatures, doesn't he? No, it's to you. Are you sure? Uh, Thornwood Falls. I'm going Angel to point. gain oh, and I don't pass. trust it. You put that shit in there for Death Touch for a reason. I know you. Me? Yes, you. It's 299 Turgid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know my line. <laughs> I just Turgid just cared about sacrificing and discarding. <laughs> For the end of his turn, Lion Tutor. Oh no. That's okay. Two people with a turn, one play. We'll go and get a Monocrypt if someone wants to shuffle for me. All right, so after that, I'm going to untap, draw for turn. Monocrypt. Really nice. I'm going to go search for a Legendary card, Saga, or a Snow Permanent. Authority of consoles, and then I'll pass turn. All right. On top, keep, draw, snow covered swamp, lightning greaves, pass turn. Draw. I'll play a swamp, and then I'll pay a black and one to cast Sanctum of Stone Fang. Drawing. I'm gonna play the nice full art planes. And then <sighs> pass. Okay, at the beginning of my upkeep, even a safe. Do not lose life. Draw for turn. Alright, yeah. don't want to do it, but I'll just put in Well of Lost Dreams. Yeah. Alright, then pass for turn. Oh, I love that card. Great. Me too. All right, uh, snow-covered swamp, jeweled lotus. <laughs> uh, cracking this, paying two. Sir Conrad comes in tapped. You gain a life. Mm -hmm. um, any responses to me attempting to equip lightning greaves? No. Nope. Okay. P the T. You want to equip the basilisk collar? Cost two. Uh, you want to pay for me to? Well, I was I was currently it? tapped then, so I uh -huh. couldn't pay. But yeah. you know, otherwise, yeah, totally. I mean, if you're offering, yeah. okay, draw. I will play a tainted wood as my land for turn. Wood. Uh, so everyone will lose one, and I will gain one due to Sanctum of Stone Fangs. I'll just pay a green and a black for Belby. I enter post combat and I get six colorless mana, and I will have to let it fizzle and then pass the turn. Okay, we are drawing. Oh, I like this. I really like this. Tapping one to cast Soaring. Gonna tap the force and the Soaring to play Enchantress Presence. Then guess what? I will pee the tea. Shooting my upkeep, even will be safe. I will take three. Draw for turn. All right, land. I will pay two for a champion. Wait, didn't Belby enter untapped? No, it does, yeah. 
Okay, I will pay two and a float for blind obedience. Pass the turn. Untap. I'll keep. Draw. All coffers. Love that one. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, things good, dude. Okay, I'm going to pay two. Each player mills one. Damn, retreat to Hagra. No creatures? No creatures. Uh, okay, then I will swing at Paul for five command. Moving to post combat main phase, I will gain two colors. I will use that two colors to generate three black. Make that four black. Ever I mill one again? Gorklaw, Terra, Calcis. Um, Herald of the Pathion, creature. Yeah, two creatures. Three creatures. Three. Where? Because I oh. milled another one as well. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So uh, each of you loses three life. I will forever young put this on top of my library. Mm. Uh, creature left my graveyard. Each of you loses one. Then I draw one. Yeah, okay. I'll play a swamp. Everyone will lose one and I will gain one due to stone fangs. I'll pay one black for a soul ring. The pretty one. The pretty one indeed. Nice. Okay, I'll enter my post combat main phase. Uh, I have six colorless mana. I'm going to pay 10 mana for a Desolation Twin. It's a 10-10. When it ETBs, I create a 10-10 colorless Eldrazi creature token. Okay, so I gain two life. Yep. And I have two 10-10s. And then I'll have to pass. Absolutely amazing drawing. I'm going to tap these two to play Overgrowth. Enchant land, I'm going to enchant Thornwood Falls. And then cool. when enchantment spell enters, I'll draw. I like it. And then I'm going to tap four. I love it. To cast <laughs> Estrid. And then when Estrid enters, I'm going to immediately plus two her to untap each enchanted permanent I control. And so this is going to go up to five. I'm going to play Wild Growth. Um, enchant land, I'm going to enchant the plains. When that enters, I will draw. I guess I will pass after that. That was wholesome. Okay. All right, begin my upkeep. Um, even is safe. I will take three. I will draw for turn. Okay. I'll pay two for... Ankh of Mishra. Yeah, and then I'll pay the one for the extort, so you guys all lose a life. I gain three life. Oh, she's about to get a bunch of manas. Yes. So. So you gain four. Oh, she got six because she hurt herself with the mana crit. Oh yeah, yeah. So you will gain six colorless mana at the beginning of your second main. Is it each opponent? Each of Jordan's opponents. So hurting Jordan doesn't count, okay. but hurting the other three. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to skip that where I can get the mana. So I'm going to pay two, four. I have two floating. Um, I'm going to extort again. I gain three more, you guys lose one, and then I'm going to pay one more floating to draw a card, and then I'm going to have to pass turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Did you gain a life when he came in from this? Oh, I did not gain one. Okay, uh, I'm going to pay two, everybody mill one. Ted. Uh, land. land. A three visits. I did get a creature. Each of you loses one, you... Get a soldier, and I gain a life back so I don't move. Technically, you do drop one and then gain one, which is all that matters for her trigger. Yeah. And I'm going to swing five at that. Okay, sure. Second main phase, adding four colorless mana. I'm going to spend two of that for three black. I will pay all of this for black market. <laughs> Whenever a creature dies, it gets a charge counter. At the beginning of my first main phase, I get a black mana for each charge counter on it. And I will pass turn. I'll untap. 
The twins are now untapped. That's cool. And I will draw. Gain my one, everyone will lose one. And so I'll I'll have lose it does it lose or damage? It is loses X life. Okay. So it doesn't count. We'll swing ten at Justin. Okay. I will take ten. Cool. Interpose combat. I know we get six colorless mana. Oh lord. I'll spend three of my colorless and add two green to cast a shared summons to search my library for two creature cards with different names and put them into my hand and then shuffle. Man, I love that card. It's pretty fun. I love that. Don't look over here. I'm just looking generally. Uh Uh-huh. Just out. No. I saw you look at Darien and chomp your chops. (laughs) Don't even. Everything that I have is going to hit non-creatures, basically. My deck doesn't do a lot of damage to creatures unless I use, like, Rabbit Bite or something. Yeah. Definitely going to do that one. Then I need to decide on one of these two. What is it, Paul? Your bonus can't gain life. Oh, wow, really? At the beginning of each yeah. end step, yeah. each opponent loses Let me see that life pool. equal to... <laughs> it's like a $40 demon. It's fucking good. Targeting me? I'm not targeting yes, anyone you particularly. Are. You are targeting you me. You all have things that are scary. Me? What do I have that's scary? No, okay, not you. No, maybe <laughs> yeah, maybe not you, not, not but Paul. you yeah, yeah, two I'm particular fine. players. I, I'm typically supposed to be the scary one. I'm doing my thing. Well, here's the thing. I didn't realize my deck was going to enable you this much, so I need to find a way to chip you down as much as I can. <laughs> uh, if you had rested on, you could have destroyed the, the lowest conquers. life. That's, I attacked you with one creature, and you couldn't block. You attacked me with the 10-10. Ten ten. <laughs> it was one creature, and you couldn't block. <laughs> So we're in agreement, we kill Jordan first. Unless I kill you first. Nope, kill Jordan first. <laughs> I will, unfortunately, take two damage from the Ark of Mishra and play a land. And now I have enough with the floating mana to cast the Archfiend. But it comes in tapped, unfortunately. And she can't gain life. <laughs> All right, I'll have to pass. Drawing for turn. I can get rid of the demon. Okay. This is the only thing keeping Absolutely Andrea from going like demon. crazy going off. Justin? If you don't die to what me, you die to I her. Do? I mean, he has two ten tons on the board, but I don't think I've done anything to him to you, work. You haven't. No, not at all. I'm fine for me. I'm supporting you. I'm not going to kill you next turn. <laughs> I'm definitely not he going to. He might kill you next turn. I'm he wants your pack. You. Hmm. Let's see. I know we're a little more cutthroat here, but I'm, I'm trying to play <laughs> like not totally degenerate despite he looking at He does not need right help now. winning. Let me just put it that way. Wholesome, friendly magic. If you take care of the demon, I promise I will not try to kill you first. Do not take care of that demon, dude. Take care Because if you do, you're going to kill me. <laughs> no, I, okay. Oh, Lord, okay I don't want to make a threat to you. I'm not trying to like be crazy, but this is literally stopping that. And we're going to recast Estrid. Heck yeah. And um, we're then going to plus two her to untap each enchanted permanent I control. We'll tap this to enchant my planes with Dawn's Reflection, so now it can tap for one green and then two mana of any color. We draw a card off the Enchantress Presence. Yes. Then I will play my land for turn. And two life. Yes. I'm going to tap for one, two, three, four, five. I have the two white and three generic. I'm going to cast a Celestial Archon, and then I will get a draw off of her. And then I think we're going to pass it. untapped. Does. Yes, it does. So I do not have a blocker. So how how is that taking care of the demon? Oh, I decided to just play some wholesome magic this turn. Oh wow! And really? see and see what happens the next whenever everything My goes man. around. My man. I'm giving him a chance. It's not coming at you. Ooh. All right. So you pass. Yes. Okay. So rolling even is safe. Hmm. Hmm. It's not going to help me right now, but I'm going to put a Soul Warden in. And when I, she comes in, I'm going to extort so you guys still lose a life. Cool. And then you gain? Nope. Nope, I can't gain Oh, right wait. Now. <laughs> We're only losing life today, Missy. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> that does mean second man you gain four colors. Right. Yep. Paul, I'm still going to hit you for three, though. Four. Swinging four at me? You do not play Wholesome Magic. What do you mean? What did I do? You did not take care okay, okay. of that Okay, so what demon. can we do? What can we do to have you not swing at me? Because I'm already at 23 life. Because you could have taken care of that demon. Okay, what do you want me to do to... I told him I wouldn't swing at him. 
I told him I wouldn't swing at him because he didn't hit my demon. You can take care of the demon next turn if Justin doesn't take care of it? I will take care of the demon next turn if Justin doesn't do anything to it. <sighs> Come on, guy. I'm not destroying it. I will... You need to use my cards to your advantage. He's not gaining life. You deal double damage. So you're not attacking? I, I'm thinking. No, sorry, Paul. I'll just go ahead and hit you anyways. I'll go to second main phase. Get the four mana. So I have the four floating. I'm not going to be able to use it this turn. I'm going to put in a Karoo. I'm going to bounce that back to my hand. I'm going to take two life and create two soldiers. And then I will pass turn. On your end step, we've had some triggers. I realize that this doesn't affect me. It only affects my opponents. Right, so so I'll lose two. five. So I'm going to untap and Liliana's Triumph. Each opponent will sacrifice a creature. Okay. I'll sacrifice my tapped Eldrazi. Black Market will accrue three counters. That was during my upkeep that that occurred. Now I'm going to draw for my turn. This will trigger. I will get three black mana during my first main phase. Hey, Justin, you want to make a deal? <laughs> what deal are we making, Paul? Is there a way that we can prevent it to where you don't swing at me this one turn? What are you offering? Um, is there anything you do not like, creature-wise, that you want me to get rid of? I mean, I feel like you should be negotiating with Andrea, not me. Well, I really just don't want you to swing at me this turn. That's why I'm negotiating with you. Because you could swing at me directly since I have no blockers. And I'll take 10 because of the demon that's on the field. And which means I'll be at 4. And if you could have the chances of milling me out. Wait, doesn't sacrificing teachers make us uh, lose life also because of Sir Conrad? It does, actually. Yes. So each of you loses 3. But I also get... Sure. I took 3 damage. Okay, so... You negotiate with Andrea. Okay. And neither of you target me till he's out of the game. Your biggest okay. threat right now is him, right? So. And you are trying to negotiate with me. So I'm staying out of this. You two negotiate, but you leave me alone. My biggest threat is her. <laughs> I'm more scared of her than I am of him right now. And he could definitely probably Wumbo Combi out of nowhere, I'm sure. Me? So, Andrea. Me. Andrea. Paul. I can put his demon back into his deck. Okay. So I won't get the Sir Conrad trigger, which means I won't die. Just just get rid of it, Paul. He's making your damage double every time. I know, but he's going to swing at me next turn now because it's going to be his turn. So regardless... I don't know where it's going, dude. Why would I swing it at you, Paul? Just to get one player out of the game? But I don't have to. It's one last because player. you being here is more resources that they have oh, to spend that is true, against though. you that instead is true, of me. Though. We already know a card that I revealed that I'm going to play. Yes. Do you remember what it does? No. Would you like me to show it to you since it's revealed anyways? Yes. Okay, it's this card. Let's I'm going see. going to cast that at least. When Druid of Perf Purification enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment you don't care. Destroy each permanent chosen. Okay. I'm not targeting yours. Okay. Uh-huh. I have to do the deal because I kind of don't want to die yet. But if you deal with, if you make a deal with Jordan, Justin's just going to kill you. <laughs> Man, why don't we make a negotiation on top of a negotiation? I really? am not going to swing at you on my turn. Promise. Yes. All right, magic pinky promise right magic now. Magic pinky promise. All right, I will okay. not swing at you on my turn. I will get rid of the demon. I will put it back into the library. When? My next turn. Because hmm. I don't have, I'm all completely tapped out right now. Justin's over there probably with a wind con in his hand right now. I know. He probably He's just is. like, let them argue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's so quiet. He's scrape like, I'm for it, it. scrape. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, you know me so well. <laughs> yep. It is still my first main phase. Yes. I'm going to tap one and pay three. Ferguson and Obliterator. Okay. Two. We knew that he had this, by the way. I'm going to move to equip Lightning Greaves to the Obliterator. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, pass through combat with no attackers declared. Uh, moving to second main phase. I did deal damage to each of you during the start of my turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to generate four. Uh, I'm going to spend two of this generic to float three black. From that three, I am going to play Swift Foot Boots. And you're using your two colorless? Uh, yeah. I'm going to move to equip Swift Foot Boots to Sir Conrad. Yep. 
using one of these. And then I'm going to spend my remaining two for Jet Medallion to make my black spells cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will pass the turn with two blockers up. Oh, yeah. Right, untap. Mm. Swing at me, you salty bitch. Get in my life total. Why, why am I salty? <laughs> Draw. Oh, wait. Uh, end of turn. Oh, yes. You lose another three. You lose another three. All right. And then St. Louis Stone Fangs will now trigger on my turn as well. And I will gain one life and everyone will lose one. Mm -hmm. Four. I will cast that Druid of Purification that we talked about. Yes. So it starts with me. So each player picks one artifact or enchantment that you do not control. Correct. Okay. Like, I want the Ankh gone really badly, but also the Blind Obedience is probably worse. That extort. Come on, man. I can't gain life right now. It doesn't matter about that. You're still losing. That Black Market's pretty dangerous. Hey, how about this? If you destroy it, I'll let you have full control of what I destroy. What? Wait, destroy which one? Uh, the extort, because I can't deal with the extort anymore. I'm at seven life. All right. I'll choose the Blind Obedience. Hold on. This should have come in tapped. Oh, that's true. And then for Paul's pick... Really, Paul? We, I needed that gone. You don't understand. Really, Paul? We will do the... Technically, this came in tapped, too, for what that's worth. And this. Not that it matters. <laughs> Man, say, that's why I didn't say anything. It doesn't matter. He has to put them on sitting down or laying down. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Oh. Okay, I'll choose the onk next. Yeah, okay. Andrea, your pick. I can't do yours, can I? Nope. This is a planeswalker. You could get the Enchantress Presence. I would say the Black Market's probably the... Biggest threat there, but what have I done against you this game? I In know. fact, I just gave you bargaining tools. I know. So how about this? You destroy that, and I'll just destroy... Do I get to pick? Yeah. Just so Jordan doesn't win. You pick what I destroy. Why don't you break that, and I'll break that. Yeah. That works. Now that Uncle Mishra is gone, I will play my land. <laughs> I'll play a forest. Uh, okay. I will enter combat. Mm -hmm. While you are not my best attack, you are my second best attack. Um, send a 6-6 six, six flyer at you, sir. All right, I have no blocks. Okay. And then I will enter post-combat main phase and gain six. So I'm losing seven, you're losing two, you're losing two at the end of this turn. Okay, block, block. Six. Okay, seven, eight, I'll be greedy. So X equals eight. I will damnable pact for eight. Oh, I'll, wow. I will lose eight life and draw eight card. So then it'll take another six, and you said how, how did it take how much? Two each. Two. Okay. I don't need to sculpt this here down. Got some creatures you discard in there? I'm going to try not to. Three lands. Okay, that is my turn. Alrighty, guys, this is my last untap. You don't know that for certain. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, I got a tap land. Okay, I can't really do a lot, so I think we're just going to go ahead and just play as much as I can. Number one, as per promise, two green, blue, white. I'll have a green floating bot charm. I'm going to put target creature on the bottom of its owner's library, so I'm going to put... Um, your ogre, no, not ogre demon, sorry. I'm gonna put your demon on the bottom of your library. I was like, no ogres, thank god. <laughs> I don't know why, but that new card from Comic-Con just popped up in my head immediately. With the one floating, um, and with two colorless, one green, I'm gonna play Myth Unbound. It's really not gonna do anything. So, then, I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, blue, white, green, white, with, I guess this is extra. We're going to play Finest Hour. All right. Um, we're going to plus two her to seven. And we're going to untap each enchanted permanent that icon. One's still tapped. Oh, yeah. I was meant to. And then this. Sure. Blue, blue, green, white. I'm going to have a white floating. Um, I'm going to suspend um, uh, inevitable betrayal. Uh, and that has three suspend counters on it. I guess I'll pass. Got nothing else I can do. Okay, untap the beginning of upkeep. Let's go for even is safe. 
unfortunately even a safe, so I will draw for turn. I'm going to play Diamond Valley, so I can tap and sacrifice one of my creatures in exchange for a number of life points equals to its toughness. The ability can be used after blocking has been declared. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. I'll do Boon Reflection. So every time you have a creature come into play, you gain Twice four life? Twice as much, yeah. Man, if only there was a way to stop uh, Oh wow, really, Jordan? Damn. Really? <laughs> I didn't swing at him. I thought he wouldn't destroy my creature. I didn't or, destroy it. Or I thought you wouldn't uh, remove my creature. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You made a deal. Mm -hmm. Dare needs some help. I want to swing one at you. I'm going to swing three at you, Jordan. Three at me? Are you wanting me three, to block one, that or not? Yeah, block? are you wanting yeah. me? Why do you want I wanted to hit my graveyard. I will block. All right. You will block? Oh, that basically means I'm going to take the damage anyway. Yeah. At least I can deny you the creatures. Yeah, I'll block two of them. Okay. So then one goes through. Three hits the graveyard. This triggers, right? You lose three, you lose three, you lose three. So I go to 32. These three come yeah. in, then she gains uh, four life from each. And I'll pay one for this just to draw a card. Uh, Black Market saw three creatures die, so it rolls up to six. Let me tap and sacrifice one of these, and then that way hits my graveyard. If I hit lose one HP, I get one and gain, and then I'll pass turn. Untap, upkeep, no effects, draw. Uh, my first main phase starts. I gain seven black mana. I'm going to spend two of this black mana to equip Mask of Grizzlebrand to Sir Conrad. <laughs> this gives him flying and lifelink. Mm. Oh, that's funny. Then I'm going to spend this five. Uh, technically, I only have to spend four. Sure. So I have one black floating still, and I'm going to meat hook massacre to give everything on the field minus three, minus three. This will kill ten creatures mm. and deal ten damage <clears throat> to each of you. So well, just dead, to count it up and confirm, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that's it for me. <laughs> but I'm going to gain 20 life because I gain 10 from this and then 10 from having, having lifelink. I'm going to use this one and this one, mill the remaining two people or three people for one. I got a creature. God. Uh, both of you lose a life. And I gain two because he now has lifelink. Tap for another three to do that again. Okay. Creature. Land. Okay. Each of you loses another one. And I gain two. Swing for two in the air and two on the ground. Both of me? Yes. I will take how much more? Yep. Uh, two of that's command. P the T. Okay. I have literally one out in the deck right now. That's it. Not it. So I'm going to lose one and I'll gain one. I will play Emergence Zone as my land return. I'll pay four for my commander. I will enter my post-combat main phase and gain my six colors. I will spend one... Two, three, go to four colorless. I will cast Vivian Reed, my own planeswalker. I guess I'm just going to play my out and try to dig. I will plus four her and look at the top four cards in my library. I may reveal a creature or a land card from among them and put it into my hand and the rest on the bottom of my library in any order. By the way, Black Market's at 17. <laughs> I will get an impervious Great Worm. Okay. I'm just going to tap out, spin that colorless. I'll play uh, Sandworm Convergence. Creatures with flying can't attack me or planeswalkers I control. At the beginning of my end step, I make a 5 5 green worm creature token. I'll move to said end step, and I'll get that 5 5. Oh, is that a creature? It is. All right, so. Enters in tap, she gains two life. Okay, fast. All right, being up my upkeep, I will roll even a safe. I lose three. And I draw for turn. 
I'm one short. And so unfortunately, I'm going to pass the turn. I don't have anything I can do. You can't recast Aaron? I'm one short. On top? Yeah. Upkeep. Draw. Uh, at the beginning of my main phase, add 17 black mana. Okay, I will spend four of this for the backside of Turgrid. Turgrid's Lantern. I can tap it, target player uh, chooses, they either lose three life, sacrifice a non-land permanent, or discard a card. I'll hold off on that. Uh, I'm going to spend one to even this off. Okay, so let's drop by two. Everybody mill one. One creature. All right, each of you loses a life. I gain two. Let's go again. Swift of Boots. Whiff. Let's go again. Creature. All right. You each lose one. I gain two. Let's go again. Let's go again. Hey, there's that removal I need. For oh, dude. Let's go again. Dude, he's trying so hard to get you out. <laughs> you oh, my God. <laughs> You either lose three life or sacrifice an unland permanent or discard a card. Oh my lord, I was going to play this fucking card. I'll discard reshape the earth. Okay. Uh, I will pay these two. <laughs> and we'll mill again. Forced. Okay. <sighs> pay two more. Do Go again. All right, I'm going to swing five command in the air at you, and I'm going to swing five uh, trample with Phyrexian Obliterator at you. I know that I have to sacrifice the five person in permanence, but I'm gonna block it with the Desolation Twin. This dies, each of you loses one. I gain uh, two because of that, and then five because of that, so seven total, which is 43. Then, you have lost life this turn. Belby is still in play. I gain two more, which gives me enough to Cabal Coffers. So, let's go one more time <laughs> and see if I can... Knock him out? Not uh, on my side. Okay, so I just realized I paid one too many for Turgrid's Lantern because of Jet Medallion. I'm not going to back that up. But I do go one more. Non-land, non-land, non-land. All right. Uh, you do still die. Whenever a creature oh, I control dies, oh, yes. each opponent loses one life. So you are God, out. Damn it, there was my search, but I didn't have the mana anymore. Technically, that does mean this is still on top, and that's still on top, because I wouldn't have had the mana to mill this. So I will take a take back counter for screwing up that and missing this trigger and then going back. Your turn. Even a safe. I lose three. Pass the turn. <sighs> it's okay. Next game I have to kill you first now. You realize that, right? I right. know. Tap, I wonder what draw. I'm going to play. So I get 18. Let's middle. You're welcome for enabling your decks. You're Nine, welcome. two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only milled one creature. I have two creatures, so okay. three damage. Yep, so you lose three. Uh, I gain three. Um, lose three life, sacrifice a non-land permanent or draw a card. Oh, or draw a card? I'm discard sorry, discard. Are you sure? I mean, I can, I can draw a card. You did say it. All right, so <laughs> I will actually do my diamonds. Non-land permanent. Oh, no. It's so one of these, or discard a card. <sighs> no, you bite. Um, actually, I'm just going to yeah, discard that. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to swing here for five yeah, commands. I'm obliterator for you. I'm going to spend four. I had to block there even if I was going to die. I had to block. To mill two. 
And no creatures. No creatures. I'm going to move to give this shroud and hexproof. I don't know. Faster. Okay, so the question is, am I going to kill myself? Ooh. Even a safe. It's a flex way oh, to die. I'm dead. Right. Oh, I'm flex way to die, though. <laughs> I went out my own terms. More money, more problems. <laughs> Good games. Good games. Good games. Good game, love. Clap once for 91 minutes of table politics.